Hi, in this video we're going to investigate that roaring noise that your machine is making in the spin cycle. And we're going to make suggestions on how to deal with that. So stay tuned and we'll get right to it. I had a customer that complained, brought this machine to me. It's a hot point. It's made by GE. It's a lower end uh, GE product. And they brought this machine to me saying that it wouldn't spin the, the clothes out. And that it was making noise. And I... I kind of suspected it when we unloaded it I put it on the dolly and I turned it up and this is what I, I saw this right here is evidence that a seal has failed and now you're getting water uh, sm small amounts of water dripping through and it's probably compromised the bearings in it and if you raise the lid of it and you can turn the the drum the drum turns so it but you can hear a, a slight rumble. So, what I suspect has happened is the uh, bearings have been compromised and they seized up at one point and they, they'll seize up again and uh, stop the machine from turning, put too much torque on the motor and shut it down. But we're going to do a spin test and see exactly if that is the problem. So, so to put this into test mode, we need to make sure that it's plugged in. And it is and we need to turn this large knob 180 degrees or seven clicks it doesn't matter where you start I usually start it at either 12 o'clock or 6 o'clock so what we'll do we'll hold down this button and while we hold this button down we turn it 180 degrees and turn loose if you successfully get into the mode all the LEDs will start flashing now to put this into uh, spin mode you would turn clockwise until the wash, wrench, and spin lights are illuminated. Okay. Now when I push this, it'll go through an algorithm, a um, child safety algorithm. It'll spray two sprays of water. I don't have it hooked to water, but you'll hear the valves open. There was one. There's the other. That'll shift and lock the lid. lid locked and the light came on the LED came on and you may hear the shift actuator and that's starting it's, it's slow spin cycle and I can already hear that the bearings are compromised on this machine you can hear that that slight roar but as it spins up the speed it'll get louder and louder during that test you should not be able to hear that uh, drum spinning uh, that loudly it's, um, it's obvious that the bearings have gone and what will happen is that you have a, a if you have a load on it you have clothes and water in it and it starts to spin it puts a bind on those bearings and they'll they'll uh, catch and put too much torque on the motor and they the logic chip on the circuit board will determine that there's a, a condition where the motor's pulling too many amps and it will shut the machine off. So the only thing to do to fix this machine is probably not economical. But you always give your customer that choice and uh, I'll show you why. So 
on the bottom side of these modern machines we have what's called a gearbox this big silver silver piece right here it contains the motor housing and the uh, splutch and on this one uh, a shift actuator and if you'll look closely on this you have these uh, bolts that attach the gearbox to the tub but the gearbox is put together with rivets these rivets right here all the way around there are two pieces of metal and encased in that metal is a shaft the planetary gears that run the agitator and the bearings so they made this component where it's not serviceable you cannot change the bearings unless you drill out these rivets take it apart uh, it's just a the, the lay it would it's so labor intensive that it's not worth trying to do that the the thing to do to fix this machine would be to change this entire gearbox you'd get the the gearbox with the planetary gears the new bearings and, and shaft and but many times the cost and the labor to change the gearbox isn't economical and, and the customer decides to go ahead and, and buy a new machine and if you ever need to go into diagnostic mode if you look right over here on this side of the the machine on the bottom left hand side I've already taken the service diagnostic manual out, out of this little plastic pouch and uh, that's where you'll find it if you need to know how to go into service diagnostic modes on your machine just to, to uh, diagnose it so anyway I will uh, look up the price of this gearbox for the customer and give them the option whether they want to change it or not so after I searched tried to find a good deal on a gearbox the gearbox labor and taxes would run the repair for this machine up to around three hundred and sixty dollars and that was more than the customer was willing to pay for that repair so the customer made a wise choice and decided to scrap this machine and buy a new one i hope you liked the video if you did please smash that like button and uh, subscribe it help, helps the, the, the channel a lot and i appreciate it see you on the next one and thanks for watching